everyone and welcome to another episode of Harlequin Teen TV. This month we have best-selling author Julie Kagawa to talk about her next book in the Blood of Eden series called The Eternity Cure. Hi Julie, thanks so much for being here today to talk about your new title, The Eternity Cure. How are you? Thanks so much for having me. I'm doing well, thank you. So tell us, your um, I Am Faye series is quite different to the Blood of Eden. What inspired you to take this dystopian paranormal route? My agent and I were talking um, and she asked me, well, do you have any ideas, you know, when the Iron Fae wraps up, do you have any ideas of what you're going to do next? And I said, well, I'm toying with this idea of this post-apocalyptic um, YA. With, I just had this idea for this very dark world, um, you know, a virus has wiped out civilization like it does. And I have, you know, this idea for a post-apocalyptic YA, what do you think of that? And she's like, oh, that sounds very interesting. What do you think about writing vampires? And I was like, oh, vampires, ugh, all right, I'll, I'll think about it. Um, so after I, you know, got off the phone with my agent, I was like, okay, I have this idea for a post-apocalyptic world, and I have this vampire idea or vampire um, story that my agent, you know, suggested I write. What would happen if I mash them together? What would come of that? So, you know, from that idea, the immortal rules and the blood of Eden world was born with, you know, post-apocalyptic and vampires. Well, we're certainly glad that you decided to do that because I'm personally a huge fan of Alison and this, uh, <laughs> this world. It's fantastic. But um, some of the scenes in The Eternity Cure, especially with this, uh, the enemy, Saren, are quite gut-wrenching. Was any of it quite difficult to write? Um, not with Saren. Um, I, there are two difficult scenes to write for me. One is, the first one was when Allison first finds Kanan, when she's reunited with Kanan again, and he's not the person that she remembered. And that one was, you know, just kind of hard for me to write because I needed to get it just perfect and her emotions and, you know, what she was thinking right then. And then, of course, the other gut-wrenching scene to write was the very ending, um, I can't say anything, but if you've read, you know, The Eternity Cure, or if you come upon the ending, you will know what I'm talking about. Oh, that ending was very cruel <laughs> indeed. Wow. Um, I think people are going to kill me. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for, that ending, especially for Allison, was quite a challenge. Did you ever feel bad at some of the challenges that you threw in her way, such as Kanan, you know, not being exactly what she remembered, and then what happens at the end? What do you think about that? Oh, <laughs> um, I, I'm kind of sadistic in I like making my characters suffer, um, because if they suffer, that means the story is progressing quite well. Um, if they're, if everything is happy and shiny and perfect, then, you know, it's a kind of a boring story. So they have to suffer for the story to be good. Um, as I tell all my readers, your tears feed my muse, so, you know, keep, keep it up. Uh, wow. We also wanted to know, because a lot of our fans, um, especially fans of you, are aspiring authors themselves and want to know if there's any advice that you would give them. Um, I would say just keep at it, just persist, and keep writing. Um, just know that all authors started exactly where you did right now. Um, you, did, you just have to keep writing, keep perfecting your craft, know that you're going to get rejected. It's all part of the process. Um, but keep learning as much as you can and don't give up, you know. Um, you can, you know, the the only difference between a published author and a non-published author is that the published author finished the book and submitted it and even though he got rejected or they got rejected multiple times, they didn't give up. They kept going. Thanks so Thank you so much for joining us, Julie. It's truly been a pleasure. Thanks for having me. And if you want to find out more about The Eternity Cure, you can find out everything you want to know on thebloodofeden.com.au. And let us know what you think about The Eternity Cure on our Facebook and Twitter pages. And if you've read it and you know the surprising ending, tell us in the comments below 
what you think about that. Till next month, happy reading.